Dameka Elogai of Yahweh Lelion Elohim is always alive and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. A training in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a prudent to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth or very accurately handling this great, glorious, infallible, and inerrant great word of truth. Glory be to my Yahweh Sitkanu, to the highest, and peace be to the man of this earth. To those who believe in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by faith alone in Christ alone. And great goodness and goodwill to them who love to walk breath by breath in the cherishing and the nurturing of the indwelling mentoring ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit in order to seek and search and understand with Christ our Lord our God we shall reign forever and forever not only in the present eon even upon the ages to come one upon the another the glorious purpose of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through His Word in our lives is to be being sent the way how He has been sent to this earth. Though we are not of this world, we have been sent into this world by declaration of His Word for us that we shall be the men who shall keep His Word or in the past tense who have kept His Word. Dear brethren, Yet not borrowing the deeds of your flesh. By that we mean being not dead in Christ, so that you could be resurrected in Christ. And teaching the legal and moral standards is not what all about the Christianity is today, the present Christendom. In the past of the ages of the plan of our Lord of our God for the church age, He has planned so specifically by us by the regeneration of Lord God, the Holy Spirit of Titus 3, 5. So that he can prove that we are the characters being fit for the regeneration which is going to come, the world, says Matthew 19, 28. The world which is to come, wherein dwelleth only the righteousness of the Lord, wherein dwelleth those stewards of the Lord our God who have overcome, as our Christ, our Lord, our God, who overcome the world and trample under their feet Satan every breath by becoming the winner believers and giving number one priority for Bible doctrine in order to seek and search and understand that every believer is a scribe and every believer is being instructed, being taught. Manthano, by the bona fide gift of the pastor teacher, Didasco by making them to be fit of the coming world wherewith the word of the Lord our God says for us the meek shall always have when they walk in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit of Psalms 22 26 verses 27 in the original in the in the original of 27 the meek shall have the joy in their heart forever. They shall sing the praises of the Lord of our God. They shall be the people like Psalms 92 too. Mourning of the unfailing love of the Lord of our God, the Kesad, or the loving kindness, what you can have in the translation. But in the Hebrew, the Hebrew word Kesad, the unfailing love of the Lord of our God we shall talk about and in the night we shall talk about his faithfulness. How faithful is our Lord of our God in providing for us this information. From morning till evening or from morning through evening. 
Let the name of the Lord our God be praised because it is good, perfect. For His grace that has been bestowed upon us and teaching to us it is not just the moral values that you have been worried on this earth is the purification that I am asking. Those things unbelievers are far more superior than you but is asking something far greater in this great battle of Eon which is going forever that we should be the regenerated chosen ones for the Lord Titus 3 5 the Greek word palgenesia combination of two words palin plus genesis or genesia again to become new teaches to us in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit we have been renewed or regenerated or once again being born again or to be termed as recovery the same thing what James 1 4 writes for us in comparison to Colossians 3 10 the e icon process a renovation a new birth and it occurs in Matthew 19 28 which refers to the coming state of the whole creation which is an equivalent of all restoration of all things of Acts 3 21 which will occur when the Son of Man will come in His glory. The regeneration of the individual soul, which is nothing but the restoration of all creation for which He has made us earlier. Romans chapter 8. What a great privilege it is for us when Lord our God has chosen for such kind of a great purpose on this earth. But yet we fight for the silly things on this earth because not being buried in Christ. That is what dear brethren we shall look how our enemy will hiss and wag and gnash the teeth of it and say rather than giving you the right word of the Lord our God teaching for you the Belial things nothingness the filth of the translations what we are calling and wasting your mind being poured out to swallow up your true and unique spiritual life rather than the manifestation of the adult sons where the creation is awaiting for its glory where we have been said in supporting words of Titus 3 5 that we have the sperm of Christ in 1st John 3 9 and we have been said it is not that you walk like Paul or Apostle of this or that but you have been said to walk like Christ 1st John 2 6 and in fact indeed Apostle Paul writes in Ephesians 5 and imitate God the Father in heaven this things as techno beloved and what a great amount of information we have been given for us in the church age that you should be like Christ, be, being getting formed into the morphotic process of Christ. Because there is something of a new world which is going to come and that will put an end. The translations may not give you, but in the original Greek it goes to prove for you that the new world of righteousness of Christ will restore us to us all the things. We are awaiting for such new world in the Lord and such new world which is ours demands to prove that new world right now in us through the regeneration of Lord God the Holy Spirit by getting into not just moral perfection but spiritual resurrection through the daily intake of the word of the Lord of our God where he says in James 1.18 as well that we have been begotten by the word of truth. And a great caution of warning for them who could listen if God of Allah is such kind of a great love how he could put Judas Iscariot into hell. The word what he spoke that alone abides forever and forever and he cannot go against his word. And that's a great punishment for the people to wake up and to realize and to understand. Those who don't believe in my Christ John 3 16 18 and 36 it proves for us. The eternal lake of fire which has been reserved and kept along with 
the fallen angels where they think they have the principalities, the powers, the rulers, their authorities, their masterdom, in whatever manner they think. They could be rescued from the hell. When the word of the Lord of God says for us, to die you shall die, and they inherited the spiritual death again, to be born again after believing in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by faith alone in Christ alone. And to know him and to love him is the eternal life, and to talk about him is the eternal life, the true only, the monon alatanian tian, the only true Lord of our God, knowing about him is the great eternal life. Not as such. The hardness of the heart of man being mentioned for us even in Revelation chapter 9, which goes to prove how hardness they are. The same thing again over here on this earth, how hardened they are. Warn to them they trust in their own works. Warn to them that have their thinking in the terms of daimonias, idotes, the idols of demons. They believe by having the categories of the daimonia idotes, the gold, the silver, the copper, the stone, the wood. Neither they can walk, neither they can see, neither they can hear. In the present Christendom, the churches have been compelled to become like those idols. They are having the daimonia idotes, but we can call now the doctrine of daimonia belial. Who are both the same. Belial is the Hebrew, the daimonia is the Greek. The daimonia is nothing but in the Greek, in the English called as demons. Aren't we teaching today in our pulpits? For you to wake up and to look and to discern by growing up into strong meat what is right and what is wrong and get out from such filth of the translations what you're taking. But the so-called kleptes, lastes, misthotes, tupas, canapes and tiflos and shoros oriented minded pastors are happy to teach to you the various categories of daimonian idotes which will not produce them any character in it which will neither give them that life which has been intended for them in the Lord of a God to be for glorious purpose and not just your moral reformation. It shall never give unto them. But yet, they think by looking upon the false translations, by looking upon the moral conduct of the so-called pastor who has made gods to himself, who forgot to show the true Lord of a God who is our Christ and what are his teachings so plain and clear for us through the entire Bible not only in the New Testament from the time of Yahweh don't forget he is the only Yahweh Elohim he has been revealed for us in the mannerism of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and he is the one in the indwelling mentoring ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit though in simple terms the one which has been revealed for you as one mediator the Christotes we call to you Lord and Savior Jesus Christ emphasizing his humanity as well as his deity Christ Jesus our Lord of our God after his resurrection and ascension and session being seated at the right hand of Lord God the Father in heaven. The same Christ is the Yehovah, Yahweh, Elohim. The same one being manifested now, the paraclete guide indwelling in us, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are talking about only one man. We are talking about only one Lord of a God. We are talking about that Trinity Christ who has been manifested for us to look what is the true Lord of a God. Not the gods being made by the imaginations of man in the psychological trance. Like the daimonia idotes who can have in the terms of the gold, silver, precious stones. No, but they have in the terms of gold, silver, copper, wood and stones as gods. And they are making that out in the churches for every believer to follow such idolatry worship. They are not talking about the only term pertaining to Roman Catholicism, what they call the idol worship. The idol worship, what has been manifested today in our pulpits by not believing in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, doctrine as number one priority to be taught for us every day. And the great work of the regeneration of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, which goes for us to restore 
in the great mannerism of which he has obtained for us to be for his work. The Palaganesia once again becoming new. The work of Lord God, the Holy Spirit in the midst of our lives. For which cause we have been made to be in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, breath by breath. And you are not able to find the reason of Palaganesia used only twice. Once in Titus and once in Matthew 19, 28. And the word regeneration is only once in the Matthew of the translation as well. It's a very, very unique word. And whenever we find a unique word in the Bible, take it granted, it has a lot of information for us to learn from it. In Galatians 4.19, Moforte, only used once in the entire Bible, it has a lot of meaning for us to produce the character of Christ in you. When we have been producing the character of Christ in us through the daily inculcation of Bible doctrine. And the same word what we can find. The regeneration ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, Titus 3, 5. It will snuff off from all the daimonium idotes methods of worshipping. Daimonian idotes methods of teaching. Daimonian idotes methods of inculcating in you to think this could be the best way and the only way remember what christ our lord our god will say unto you workers of iniquity i know not who you are the greater you are loving your dead ones being not in the fellowship of lord god the holy spirit the greater your time that you spend on this earth will be wasted it will be wasted to think that the prince of the power of this air was far more superior for you. But you do not know the prince of the power of this air has already lost the battle. There is nothing a great of information for you to realize that you have been called to trample Satan under your feet which can divert your mind for daily intake of Bible doctrine. And you have in all mannerisms to say, I will follow this, I will follow that. Weekly once I go to the church, monthly once I pay the tithes, I do charity works. Those are idle works. Lord of our God doesn't say don't do them, but he says for us, before the foundation of the world, the good works for which cause I have kept you on this earth is to witness the truth, number one, by becoming like Christ. Without inhale, you cannot exhale. Likewise is your works without inhaling Bible doctrine. And your works are not far more superior than to the unbelievers who perform their works every day. And indeed they are very far superior than you in their moral and legal standards. Remember your daimonian idotes what it is. But we are not of the world. The greatest gospel of John chapter 17 which teaches for us from verse number 13. Which we shall look after the word of prayer infinitely divine holy father as we're going to study these things the things which are preserved and kept for us in the today's manna we pray let god the holy spirit will enlighten and challenge us for thy glory in christ's name we ask sovereign lord amen the things pertaining to the gospel of john chapter 17 which teaches to us the world hates you because it doesn't have the word of the Lord of a God. The word which our Lord of a God will not go against it is to prove for you to tell. Whatsoever it is written, it has been written. You cannot alter it. That's what Christ our Lord of a God is pilgrimage trip on this earth. Being led by the Spirit or driven by the Spirit has Mark as a great emphasis to teach for us. It is always his word that we need to talk. It is always his thinking in the original languages of the scriptures that will change our life to realize how the sons of Belial are waiting and expecting for your great fall. And that's what Lamentations 2, 14 through 16 is all about. It talks for us how the way they fell. It talks for us how the way it leads today's caution for us that we have to be alert like the way how Satan is, is waiting like a roaring lion to whom he may devour. In Lamentations 2.16, we have the great words for us to understand. 
They're constantly waiting and absorbing you when you will fall. They're constantly waiting and seeking to you when you will divert from the mind of Christ. And they are constantly waiting and eagerly absorbing you that you are not able to get every thought into captivity for Christ and that is the time for you to inculcate in lies. Make your ministry in lies. Make your teachings in lies. Make up your life in lies. But John, our Lord of God, prayed for us, recorded by John chapter 17, it says, I have given them what? Thy word, your word, which word? The name of all the names of my Christ. The only unique name, Yahweh Elohim. There is no other name apart from this name wherewith we can have our salvation, says Acts chapter 4, verse 12, in the heaven or in the earth. In Isaiah we read, apart from this name, there is no other name wherewith our Lord our God could share His glory. Therefore the emphasis, I have given them thy word, the unique word, not the filth of the translations, what we are going to concentrate. Neither the filth of the interlinear, but we have to go back and look in the original Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic. But the translation and the interlinear are your basic building blocks. And I wish our Lord our God could keep the gift of tongues so that we could learn Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic and teach to you the intention of our Lord's mind very accurately. Not the gift of tongues, what the way how these people think. They are edifying, they are exhorting and they are comforting you. They are neither making their life to be in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. At the same time, those who are hearers for it, they do not know what they are talking. And they think it's the ministry of the Holy Spirit of God. But it is not. It is the blasphemy which they are pronouncing against the Holy Spirit of God by being controlled by the Engastramutas demon in the present tongues. The present tongues, I mean, from AD 0070 in the first century of my Christ being seized till date or till the rapture. We have the discernment of the spirits. For which cause you have been said by looking upon the time, you should be the communicators of the Lord's mind. Not as the way how you could think that I am able to communicate in tongues, I am able to communicate in the languages, I am able to communicate this and that. No. Your practical holy manner of life where the people should wake up and realize that we have been given the ministry of reconciliation. We have been called to be the light of this world. We have been called to love our enemies as well. Not just to hate them but to love them. And pray for them that they use despitefully you. And it has been said if anyone needs a help like the way how Simon Sirene was the one who bore the cross of my Christ. He took and he says in Matthew chapter 5 in the beauty it is for us to understand. If they ask you to walk one mile walk with them two miles. The same thing what we read in Deuteronomy chapter 15 verses 14 and following. Adorn them with the ornaments of decoration of a necklace. Give them from your wine vats. Give them from your flock that which should be sufficient for them. And the wine vat or the flock which has been given for us is the completed can of scripture and in the original languages of the word so that we can take and give for those who are our hearers so that they could be our disciples and they will love to be with you then with an owl pierce their ears. By that I mean put a mark upon them that they are our epistle, they are our apostleship, they are our work, and they are our fruit. And we don't want in such a mannerism where the people would think that we are working only for fruit. That should be for your account. Whether you people recognize it or not, the authority given for us to daily teach the word of the Lord of our God, we don't mind. Neither we care because we are in the midst of the alien Christendom, not the Christendom of Christianity. The alien Christendom being diverted from the Lord's mind very long and very far away. We don't even find the shadow of the original languages of the scriptures in our pulpits. Whenever you go back and look, what do you find? Legalism. What you find? Morality. Remember the way how Christ our Lord our God says in Hosea chapter 3, I have purchased how with a homer of barley, with a half homer of barley or with the gold. And you know what does he say? So that she shall not perform any longer any harlotry. So shall the Israel be. Without the temple. And the difference what you can find over there, dear brethren, 
the greatest pleasure of wherewith we can have even the unbelievers Ecclesiastes 9 9 if they could think the great adrenaline pump which they can have through the testosterone or estrogenerine and they can enjoy a great pleasure in the flesh far greater than that is the fellowship what we have in the minds of the Lord Therefore, Hosea gives for us a great warning to understand, to teach for us to realize. And taking for us a second, going back to the Hosea chapter, verses 3, chapter 3, verses 3 and following, it teaches for us, for the children of Israel, verse number 4, shall abide many days without a king, without a prince, without a sacrifice, without an image, without an ephod, without an teraf or teraphim, the image meant to say for us, without the standing of the temple. And he compares in verse number 3, And I said unto her, Thou shalt abide for me many days, thou shalt not play the harlotry, and thou shalt not be for another man, so I will Abe, so I will also be for thee. Here the significance what he's saying, the pleasure of a harlotry, what she is seeking, that pleasure is nothing before the fellowship what we can have with our Lord of our God. And therefore the Israel also was not been there in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit with one man or went along to do like a traversing donkey under every green tree, the spiritual adultery. So he says, you had a lot of pleasure in the playing harlotry from one man to another. But that pleasure is nothing when we feel the sadness that we are not in the fellowship of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And afterwards when the children of Israel shall return, shoot, take a U-turn and diligently seek Bakash, require and exactly ask for the Lord of a God for desiring the Lord their God and David their King and they shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the later days and what is that the tremble the fearing is Pakad the tremble and whom Jehovah and what is the goodness the Thob therefore what do you find over here the later days the Akraet the after part of the Yom of your life and here it meant to say for us afterwards when you shall return and see the same thing what he purchased her so I bought her to me for 15 pieces of silver homer barley and a half homer of barley the thing where we have over here dear brethren when the Lord our God said unto me go love a woman beloved of a friend at an adulteress according to the love of the Lord toward the children of Israel who look to other gods and love flagons of wine and the word the flagons of grape juice here in the analogy what do we find your brother and very exactly to learn from this no doubt how greater she might have lived at her lottery but none could satisfy you in the fellowship what you can have the fellowship with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The fellowship being in the indwelling mentoring ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Therefore he says for us in John chapter 17 verse 14, I have given them thy word. And he says for us, no doubt you may enjoy on this earth the physical lust of your flesh. In your great adrenaline. And because many people have that lust. Not only the lust of sexual one, they have the power lust, the approbation lust. They have the lust of money. Therefore, he says in the book of Timothy, warning them, they pierce their own sorrows with many, those who love the money. Therefore, he says for us, long back, when no man could come through the Elisha, when we read, it is not your money that is going to give. A simple act of obedience. He might have quit from that process after six times when he went to the water of Jordan. But when he came out for the seventh time, that's humble obedience to the word of the Lord of a God. Here it's not your money that counts. Like the way how the founder of Gnostic theology went along by Simon Magus. Simon Magus. 
who thought they can work with the money they can get the gift of the Lord our God by the money it's a supernatural gift given for us at the moment of salvation by faith alone in Christ alone and training for us in our life over a decade or two decades or three decades like the way how in the case of Moses for 40 gates in the case of Christ our Lord our God for two decades or for three decades and everyone whom he calls he trains them up faithfully so that they could learn in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit to be free from the filth of the translations what they're looking and they could be free from the interlinear and they could go back and teach to you in the original Hebrew Greek and Aramaic and expound to you in your own languages to realize what is the importance of the Lord's plan for your life now when we go back and look in the book of Hosea chapter 3 what we are looking we read the pleasure the way how she played her lottery and she was been said I shall be unto you and you shall be unto me likewise the Israel will be without the Lord without Christ without Urim without without Tumim for a long period of time and you know what it is the right divine pleasure what they should have with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when you don't have that fellowship with our Lord our God when you don't seek to understand what is the Lord's mind for us very specifically given through the life of Christ our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ where he says in Psalms 17 1 hear the right of Lord attend to my cry give ear unto my prayer that goeth not out of feigning lips the things what I want to tell dear brethren when we are not in the divine fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit there is no pleasure for you though you play harlotry The way how the unbelievers think to satisfy the deeds of this flesh is a greatest pleasure they can have. But doctrine teaches for us to encourage and to realize the only pleasure or the greatest of the greatest wherewith your mind cannot imagine or even think is the pleasure what we have in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit. Considering this, we can read the H.A. Ironside, the note which he has written long back. And he says, I do not know a word in this psalm that may not have been uttered to the Father by our blessed Lord on one of those nights when out on the mountainside communing with him. For we may be very sure that he largely used the words of the Holy Scripture. And that's the reason what I want to tell you. He gave us his word so that we can open our mouth through his word and whenever we open our mouth it is logos it is his word is his and first Peter says opening up your mouth like the divine oracles Deuteronomy chapter 4 says for us that these are the people of wise and understanding that the people should believe and understand upon us what a great privilege we have and you never understand what is that and Lord our God himself in the form of the flesh thinking not it to be robbery but had a great leadership type of thinking to come back and to give for us in the humbleness of the human mind so that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess in the future for his great privilege what he has done for us and he calls to those who has been to those this seats have been prepared when the Mary mother of Zibedi when they come for asking the two sons please provide me this I will also drink the same cup we will also do the same thing but he says you do not know what cup you are talking about it has been prepared for them whom our Lord God the Father has intended to give the thing what I want to tell when you grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine day by day being in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit the greatest privilege what the Bible teaches taking every breath in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit every moment in the mentoring ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit it teaches to us to follow the standards of Christ in his humanity what he did for us that we shall see not even out which goes from our mouth any word will be of vain lips because what your mind is thinking so that your heart will have that rejoicement forever that's what Psalms 20 27 is all about the meek when they look upon the praise of the Lord our God singing hallelujah by that we mean shining 
the bright radiance of the Lord's glory. Our heart will live forever. Our heart will enjoy forever. When your heart has been filled in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit teaching for us in the Gospels, particularly, it is not that when the disciples came and the chief priest comes and accuses to them to say, your, your disciples doesn't want wash and doesn't wash your hand and they come to over here. But he says for us very specifically, it is not that goes inside that defiles, but what it comes from outside, from your heart. And what it comes? Anyway, mental attitude, sins, jealousy, retaliation, revenge tactics. And further example lying for them in Psalms 22 27, the meek, the meek, the meek. Doesn't he say in the beauty it's again for us in Matthew chapter 5, the meek shall inherit the earth. The earth of the thing which is going to come in the regeneration, Palagenesia. And who are they? They are every scribe in talk. Every scribe, Deuteronomy 17, 18, at least to write once in their entire life the Bible. Every scribe, where he says in Psalms 22, 22, the greatest messianic psalm for us, when he talks about the things, the same thing to Israelites, he comes to quote for us in Hebrews chapter 2, verses to say, for us to realize that we also should be the same scribes. He shall recount in our lives what we shall be. And what is that recount? So fair. And therefore you have to be the Mantano. Therefore your heart has to be filled in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, by every word that has been taught for us in the original language of the scriptures. Being distilled in you, being inculcated in you, being over exceedingly, plausiously, richly dwelling in you. Whenever you think it has to be in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, because your heart should be forever in joy. Your heart cannot be joy if you're not able to sing the praises of the Lord our God. What are those praises? Halal. What are those praises? Tehillah. What are those praises? Becoming a scribe. Showing forth to this world the greatest glory that has been ever given for us in this church age. Far less you love to go back and look and see. Once again training them in the basic fundamentals. The basic fundamentals to say, first you get buried. We know very well we are talking the things pertaining to the mystery doctrine of the church age. But when they come to the church, they are talking still. You have to be put dead in Christ. And after dead in Christ, you have to be buried. Their entire life goes in the phase two of this church age by thinking that they have to be going to put dead in Christ, again being buried in Christ. But they will never realize by believing the gospel itself, these two stages have been washed out. When you believe my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, when I've been taught for you to realize what a man he is, being in authority and teaching that word, not able to look your cupidity, not able to look your lustful patterns of epithomas, not able to look upon the pathos condition of your soul, but being driven in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, word by word, and thinking to honor Lord's word, no matter what it is. In extreme, and you may find what, like the way how Ezekiel chapter 20 says, the, de the delight of his eyes is wife for your sorrow. On the other extreme end, with the same wife, what you may have in this human energy, Ecclesiastes 9 9, the pleasure with the wife of your youth. But these both are nothing before the word of the Lord our God because they give for us that great comfort and edification, exhortation. And that's what every believer ought to come to the realization of thinking. That we have only one thing on this earth to honor Lord's word above his name. And there is nothing for us to think that we shall be doing this and we shall be honoring that. No. It's very, 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 very wrong what the pulpits have been teaching for us. They don't even align in the things pertaining to Lord's mind. And yet they say, this is Lord's commandment. Deuteronomy 4, 1 itself teaches for us the word Lamad, which I teach to you. Lamad. The two Greek equivalent words, Mantano plus Didasco. Didasco, the bona fide duty of the pastor teacher. Mantano to become the disciples. And is waiting for the manifestation of those adult sons who have been taught every day the word of the Lord of our God. And what we are able to find today in our pulpits. As if no word of the Lord of our God has been given to you, your walking aliens. 
looking strangers to the plan of the Lord of God and behaving exactly what Satan intends in your life the great fall down Lamentations 2.16 as an example given for us therefore it is not just that you quote doctrine quote verses that makes the difference it is what that comes from your heart wherewith it is now the circulation of your doctrine in your frontal lobe not just having a piece of paper in your hand and trying to preach it is what the practical reality is all about when we can understand the pain and we shall be witnessing among this foolish wise man why we call it a foolish wise man professing wise they become fools but we come for them in Christ who is our wisdom who is our sanctification who is our redemption who is our propitiation who is each and everything for us for which cause he loved us and he gave himself for us so that we shall be for him forever And yet what do you find? Negligence of Bible teaching in our pulpits. And that you day by day, not weekly ones, substituting them with their gods being made by man's imaginations, the precepts and the commandments of men, not by the precepts and commandments of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And how do they digest their food? We do not know heaping corruptions, rising cults and heresies and how they're compromising with the things pertaining to their own life to say this is what God has given to me as a translation the KJV I will believe and I will not believe the things of the original language of the scriptures as in one of the tape Billy Graham quotes that and yet the people are mad to think The people who will not teach the right word of the Lord our God in the accuracy of it, there the people will perish. And that shows how the dilemma of the nation was when they could believe. He could have made better work. He could have learned better things. He could have expounded the truth in the clear simplicity of crystal clearization. But when they get that name and fame, they forgot my Christ. Don't worry, we are not here to judge them, but we are here to tell that we all will stand at the judgment seat of Christ. And the one he knows very well, for the five talents he produced five, for the two he produced two. And the five could make five, he knows what is the pain and the burden and the risk that he's going to put his life. But the one he thought that there is, there is no way of getting the trading business to be done, yet he seeks the fruit from that soil. And does not Christ our Lord our God say for him, you want to seek your fruit by making money the way how Simon, Ma Simon Magus came? But five out of five, what they are, they are making disciples like him like Christ that's what Manthano is all about they are making them disciples but the one talent one what he did he went and hid in the soil like Simon Magas because he knew he's running his show for the sake of money the same thing what we can look to in our present Christendom Making money is number one criteria because their belly is their God. They come over here for some pieces of bread or for some handful of barley. And they say, we couldn't find the things pertaining to discipleship program anyone. We couldn't find because Lord, you haven't given for us in this country the disciples. Doesn't you know the heaven and the earth belong to my Christ? Doesn't he say for us the power and authority is given to us, the exousia authority to trample Satan under our feet, and not just to trample Satan under our feet, but the dunamis power of Satan under our feet. In both heaven and the earth, the authority has been given to me, therefore you go to teach. Make them teaching to be number one priority in their pulpits.
Colossians 1 23 to 29 the greatest work for us making every man every believer teaching and warning and making them to be in the fellowship of blood God the Holy Spirit to become and to produce them perfect the special likeness of my labor wherewith every pastor teacher has to pay to that body of Christ the little pain which he has to be taking as a part of him as Apostle Paul says in Colossians 1 24 the role that he could pay to Christ at least a little part of the sufferings and how they could do five out of five or ten out of ten as the look goes Daily making them, being practicing, daily teaching them and educating them to become like Christ, teaching them the completed canon of scripture from Genesis 1 1 to Revelation 20 to 21. And you will be counted as the one steward who has been there, given that one talent yet to it to look and see up to what extent you may run but you will come with all mannerism of alibis therefore we have been terming you as claptes, lastes, mythotes, tupas, canapes, stiflos, sheruras, alogazuans because you are brute breasts seeking to get and telling to God the father that he is a wicked man because he will he'll expect where they cannot even sow when the authority has been given for us in the heaven and the earth and yet what do you find your alibis how many of them can truly tell the way how apostle paul says you are our epistle you are our crown you are our joy how many could tell tomorrow when you go back home and say we could find the great disciples for us Five out of five, ten out of ten. Remember, dear brethren, they are the disciples which you make. And in return, those ten disciples will go and make another ten disciples. The MLM marketing, what you can call. Ten disciples, when they go to make each ten, they will get hundred disciples. And he says for us, why you couldn't put that back in the bank I could have got and received with money with interest the name and the fame in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit what we could get by at least giving them what the reading to be done in the churches therefore Apostle Paul gives for us to teach make them to read this epistle in the church giving a great caution of warning number of times in the gospel of Matthew haven't you read what it is have you not read what it is have you not thought what it is but what do we find today in our pulpits at least no storing of your Bible in the bank but that the authority to which the church's committee have been given at least let them come and read what it is in the word of the Lord of our God rather than seeking honey honey is the explanation what the pastor teacher tries to give without having the bona fide gift quoting this man quoting that man and not able to wake up the importance of the original languages or the scriptures for which cause we have been kept alive over here on this earth under the bona fide gift of the pastor teacher and to teach what is the truth and yet they come all the time to quote this man and that man and they say let's finish in one hour doesn't our lord our god say for us haven't you wait with me for one hour he comes the first time the second time the third time and he wants for us in first thessalonians be sober be vigilant We shall not be like those who sleep in the night. And whenever we put our, our, our message in the YouTube or record the words of the Lord of our God in the YouTube, we know very well. In fact, indeed, my own wife doesn't listen for one hour because of her work, what she's going through. Far less I could imagine others to listen and to expect the thing. Dear brethren, remember the work of Christ to be number one priority all the time. And what our Lord our God says, couldn't you wait with me for one hour? One day, one hour, remember the time what we have read in Revolution 9. 
he goes for us from one hour to one day, one day to one month, from one month to one year. And yet the people will not repent. He begins there again one hour. That one hour when you come every day for Bible class should renovate the standards of your thinking. It will inculcate in you a greater hunger, greater thirst. Not just a quote from your mouth. But from the heart of the word of the Lord of our God to realize the present situation where we are going through in spite of all the glad, of, of all the great plural of Baltimore privileges ever given for us. And yet what we say, who is having time? You need to pay at the judgment seat of Christ. The tithe of your time which you have to give every day, morning one hour, evening one hour, two hours, 26 minutes, or two hours, 40 minutes out of 24 hours, that time belongs to my Christ. You don't have any authority on that. You may love to have your mannerism of authority to say, in monthly income I will give tithe to the Lord. Just throw it out from your mind. In the churches we don't have tithes. As our Lord of our God will prosper you to give, to build the kingdom of my Christ, to do the disciples, to train them and in return supply them the necessary needs wherewith when they go as the things pertaining to their missionary work to the remote places of this earth through the church offerings we are here to support them not to use for our lust he says for us it's enough for you to have a pair of sandal a cloth and a bag a pair of clothes and go and do the gospel work. He doesn't talk to you for you to have greater helicopters for you, a greater Boeing ship for you like K. Paul, one of the legalistical moron, ruining the name of Christendom. Or in the present so-called clowns of entertaining one. In my state of Andhra Pradesh where we go back and look, Telling that God has blessed me, I had a bicycle, now I have four cars. And his name is Charles Jacob, I guess. And being threatened, the so-called pastors want to go and pay. Party fund has some cross. Christ of all of God, you didn't say all these things. And when you get that money, develop missionaries. Preach the word of the Lord of our God. Teach them what is the right Bible doctrine. First you make disciples 10 out of 10. And provide them the word of the Lord of our God in the original language of the scriptures. In infallible and inerrant word of Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic. Therefore he calls you workers of iniquity, those who do not know the will of God the Father, neither they have made to learn what is the will of God the Father, they will be also being beaten with many stripes, says in the duties of Christ in Luke chapter 12. And he concludes for us in verse number 48, much is given for you and much is expected from you, be a lot. And we cannot let go so easily what has been handed over for us, for the vain glory of this earth. We cannot. Therefore, exemplifying for us by the example of Christ our Lord our God Himself, He says for us, when we read, especially this psalm, is the righteous man sustained by the word in the midst of his enemies. And surely that was the case with our blessed Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There is one thing in regard to the mystery of the incarnation that we need to lay hold on. Though our Lord was both God and man, the hypostatic union, in one blessed adorable person, from the moment he came into this world until the moment when he cried, Father, into thy hands I come and my spirit, he chose not to act as God, 
though he was God, but he chose to act as a man of faith, dependent in every respect upon the Father's will and being guided constantly in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. And that's the pattern wherewith you and I should look every day. We are not as gods, but the world, for the world, Christ our Lord our God has made us to be gods, not the gods of the idols, what they could think they are gods. Not the sainthood of the certificates where the people they think and call them as gods, including the popery. We are not talking about those gods. You as a believer in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has been termed as God for these unbelieving people so that you could go back and look and understand what is that you could be called as God in separation for the work of regeneration being made in Titus 3 5, Pali Ganesia. They will not have that until unless they believe in my Christ. Therefore, you know what is the heaven, you know what is the truth, you know what is Christ, and you know very well what it is in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and far less you still not burying your old life, how you could be a reason with Christ. Though much is given for us, why Christ our Lord our God is not able to expect much from us? Purely we do not know what you are in the law. You do not seek what is the real purpose in Christ. And Ultima, what are you doing? Seeking lies. God made by the conception of mind men. In the conception of the denominations. In the arrogance and ignorance of the so-called false pastor teachers. Who do not have the bona fide gift. Arranging yourself in those conceptions, arranging yourself in those minds, and you're coming to learn. Which is not at all worthy, dear brother. The time that you spent without learning Bible doctrine, that time itself, Satan is awaiting for you. Lamentations 2.16 will be the principle because it will test your mind in the false teachings asking you to believe miracles, healings or tongues and it will never make you to become the tech non-believer. It will never cause you to become the things pertaining to be the adult son of the Lord of a God of Huyan. It will teach you life. Therefore, the prayer for us, for you all the time, as Apostle Paul prayed, that your enlightenment of your spiritual eyes, not only to be in the spirit of wisdom to walk, but also to march in the spiritual work of the Apocalypti Epinosus, the revolution of his full knowledge. And for that cause, you need to be in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, breath by breath. Not to grieve him, not to squelch him, not to lie unto him, but rather being in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, as a pattern being set forth for us to walk, as Christ our Lord our God has walked. And the reason why we can walk purely, we have the sperm of Christ in us. No excuse for it. You cannot say you may not have the sperm of the Lord, but the word of the Lord our God says, when you have the sperm of Christ, that doesn't that that really meant to say for us, we have to be developing like Christ. In producing in us that character of Christ. And therefore he says for us I have given them thy word. We are not talking the seed again of James 1. In the English it certainly disturbs your entire mind. Go back and look in the Greek. The James 1.23 seed is not the same of what you can find in 1 John 3.9. In James 1.23, when you find it is talking about the seed called as the Word of God, and that is called as Logos. But in 1 John 3.9, we call it as Sperma. That's the difference what you can find in the things pertaining to Hebrew, Greek. The original language of the scriptures will certainly change your mind. It will have that great and living influence upon you so that you could be free from the dead works, the necrosis. It will cause you to march ahead to conquer Bible. 
It will make you to be getting every thought into captivity for Christ by making it to come in the presence of the Lord's mind to do Lord's will. And that's what many people are. But Christ our Lord our God being dependent in every respect by faith only upon Father's will though Lord God the Father would, 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 would want to take the cup of his sufferings and he says not my will O Lord but thy will alone be done and his will was to go to the cross so that today you and I can enjoy this fellowship to be the objects of his grace for Ephesians 2 7 the ages which are going to come one upon the another after this church age and we to be there to prove in return telling to those fallen angels and its idotes daimonias that though he expected the Israel to fall, the church will not fall. The Israel was the apple of the eye of the Lord for a peculiar nation, but the church is the wife of my Christ. Therefore, here you have clear and greater scrutinization. Every breath, according to the demands of the word of the Lord of our God, are we purchasing the time or not? Therefore, you have been given in your conscience to realize, are you in the spirit or not, not speaking in tongues? When you are in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, it will cleanse that garbage that is there in your soul. No excuse for you at any time to think. Therefore, he says for us in comparison to Lamentations 2.16, the great verse of all time, the book of Lamentations should be taught everywhere in our pulpits today being exposed in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit alone, in the terms of right isagogics, categories and exegesis. Here we look for our greater surprise in this context, dear brethren, when we compare Lamentations 2.16 to understand for us, they open wide, they want to deliver you out of you from the mouth of them, the payee, because their mouth is of Belial, and Lord our God calls our mouth to be in the righteousness of the Lord's mind. Therefore, Proverbs chapter 8, verses 6 through 8, and all of the ones being enemies of us, what is the enemy? They are hating us. Who are hating us? The fallen angels, followed by the chief fallen angel known as Lucifer, though it may have in various terms of its principles, its powers, its authorities, its rulers, or its curiates or in the terms of masterdom no matter what hour it may be looking they may be having the things pertaining to their cosmocraters but we have the pantacrata so they hate you they are hating you so that they want to be making you to have that shrill nature and causing you to have your hissing and they want to make you to be the great vagabounds and they want to see for you when they would hiss to tell that they are grating their truth or gnashing their teeth and they say love and zero four of the Hebrew code to call as Bala B-A-L-A -A, swallowed up like the way how Christ our Lord our God made to deliver Moses from the rebellion of Korah and Dathan he says they have swallowed up and how they are swallowed up today for you by teaching lies rather than truth, by teaching to you the filth of the translations, by teaching to you the interlinear and not able to realize to come as a mediator bridge between the filth of the translations to the divinity of the Lord's mind. The interlinear could be as a mediator so that now you can be free from the filth of the translations and look that you have put a basic foundation in the virginal languages of the scriptures. And when you come there, you will realize that you have been given the player of pleroma Paltima privileges. You have been given the indwelling mentoring ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. You have been given and sealed by that fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. You have been given far greater than anything that this world can even imagine or think. But you don't want to look and seek and search Therefore, Satan loves to see that you are great fall down so that it can swallow you up. In this Hebrew numbers from 1100-1100 to the things pertaining to 1105, the combination is for Belial all the time. Bala, Bela, 
or Balal. And here we find 1104. 1100 is Belial. You know nothingness. And Balal is the pouring out of that nothingness. And then Balal 1104 of our word which has been used in Lamentations 216. Swallowed up like the way how earth will open up and have swallowed. Like the way your mind has been swallowed up by false teachings. By rationalism. By empiricism. By cryonics. By the things pertaining to your resurrection in the terms of genome technology, biotechnology, nanotechnology, being swallowed up your mind. So they are waiting for you to get swallowed up and they are swallowed up to the core. And in the past tense, they are swallowed you out, says 1105. But here we find 1104. They are swallowing you up. Be careful, you can come out. Therefore, 2 Timothy 2, 24-26. By your own will rather than being taken snare. If Lord of a God would pre-adventure. Get out of that snare by your own will. Don't get swallowed up. By your will the evolution is all about which we talk in the church age. Believing in Christ is not a force. Believing in Christ for you to tell you shall suffer loss is not for you to think that we are putting a curse upon you. But rather we are making you to understand the only way of Christ and it's your evolution whether you believe it or not. Believe in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The peace what you find you will not get anywhere else. That's the fact and that's the Bible which has been written and kept for us in the 66 books. When he says the peace is with me. The joy which you can find only in me to be absolutely fulfilled. John 17, 13. John 16, 33. In the world what you have you will have the pressure. Thilips on pressure upon the pathos condition of your soul. The diseased condition of your soul. Seeking lies rather than truth as your life. And that's what many people don't wake up and realize the importance of the original language of the scriptures. And we are here for you to say, according to your evolution, you do it. You may love to listen or not. Though you may have all the alibis and excuses and reasons, we don't mind. You have to come and pay to the Lord of God the tithe of his time, you have to pay. And that's why the born of gifted pastor teachers have been appointed to teach to you the reverence and the fear of the Lord of a God. And if you don't love to have that reverence and fear of the Lord of a God, Lord help you. We are not worried about that at all. It's your absolute standards of your evolution. Therefore, if they're saying we shall swallow them up. And in the translation it says, We have swallowed her up. But in the Bala, I meant to say of 1104 of the Hebrew, swallowing up for you so that they can enter, but you can come out of it. It's in your evolution. The thinking of your mind to be renovated, says Bible doctrine, it's in you. Developing faith, it's in you. Being constantly in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and walking according to the Lord's mind, it's according to you. The famous psychiatrist, he says... I think Norman Vincent Pillay. He goes on to prove, to say, if the Bible would have been in the minds of these people, I think there would have been any psychiatric department at all in the science. Because Bible alone will change the entire course of man's thinking. It goes to prove from human viewpoint, and it says, Faith in the word of the Lord of our God, divine viewpoint. Ultimately, what the mankind on this earth look for peace, joy, hope, and truth. All these are found only in Christ. And he reveals that for us in the Bible. He is a God of hope, He is a God of peace, He is a God of joy. And what else you need? He is a God of truth, and He is a God of love. What the world will think that they can find in the frantic search of the happiness, never will they wake up. Doctrine alone can deliver you from every mannerism of your mental attitude sickness. 
your physical sickness as well when you find the word of the Lord of God to be the eyesight of your eyes the eyesight that could fall upon your retina should be the word of the Lord of God the eyesight should be for you in the terms of looking the true life the eyesight should be for you to understand that our spiritual eyes to be enlightened to seek what is the will of God the Father in heaven and the health for you the marrow to your bones will be the word of the Lord of God the physical health will be the word of the Lord of God and he says for us in Psalms 22 27 which we have read it says for us the joy of your heart will live forever and if that word of the Lord of our God is of a joy of our heart do you know what it is you will be immortal till the work of my Christ has been done on this earth and we all will end up like the weeping prophet Jeremiah every day Though much has been given for us, much has been expected from us. We find these people ending up by ruining, by grieving and squelching and lying to the indwelling mentoring ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. And how great is our Lord our God to come every morning with his loving kindness, Kassad. And to be faithful for you till the evening to prove at least tomorrow you will come again for Bible class. In spite of all the sicknesses that you go through, the sicknesses still to the point of your death. And making you to come to be having love in the word of the Lord of our God as number one priority. And how great he is. He is able to bear the pain. The pain that he went on the cross is nothing before the pain that is going for us every day by grieving and squelching and lying to the indwelling mentoring ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit and not able to walk in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit. And looking upon the time, you should be the communicators of the Lord's mind in your practical life. But yet you need milk. Because you haven't buried your dead body in Christ. You say you believe in Christ. But the old sin nature has not yet been buried. The old sin nature will constantly come to teach. That you will be swallowed up if you don't go to Christ. All the desires of your flesh, which you need to taste, which you need to handle, which you need to touch, will be vanished off in Christ. So come, let's enjoy the world first. At the end of our age, let's go and give to Christ. While you are in ang in youth, it is better for us to carry the yoke of the Lord of our God. Not when you become old. By looking at the old, you should be. The well advanced in years of the knowledge of Bible doctrine and the sophisticated spiritual life. And you should know very well for what cause Christ our Lord our God has kept over you not to end up in disappointing misery, neither futility or vanity, but to say humbly like an unprofitable slave Lord, which is our work we have done by making your five talents to five disciples. Procuring in them out of ten of ten. And in every way, in the flesh of our body, with all of our might, soul and strength and love to Lord God the Father. We have loved thee. And every part of our flesh. The word what Apostle Paul says. We shall not be ashamed. Because we have done his work faithfully. That should be your reward. That should be the, the labor of your life on this earth. And you may say, what about your food and bed? We are asking you to become disciples. And every believer is in a full-time Christian service. We are asking you to be disciples. By that we mean morning, one hour, evening, one hour, you come to the class. You need to have some practical classes in your life so you go to your job. Be honest there. Work as unto the Lord as you work in every organization that you go. The bona fide gift of the pastor teacher who comes over here, he comes over here to serve you and not to be served. He's here to lay down his soul for you, not to take your wool, milk or meat and say we have achieved. 
We are here to teach you the word. And Lord our God knows how to provide for us the food that is needed for us. The meats in the due season which is going to send for us. How happily I would wish for everyone to come to the Pali Guinness year. For the effectual working of Lord God, the Holy Spirit in your life to realize. Greater is the one that is in us than the one who is in this world and there is nothing that can swallow you up. But here they are gnashing the truth of your enemies. Because they say we swallowed up. Yes, and this day we have been expecting the kawa to bind together. By twisting the expectancy of fall. Every breath, if you don't get every thought into captivity for Christ, expect your fall. As James could write, when you have been tempted, don't say you have been tempted by the Lord, but because of the evil thing what you have in you, you have been tempted. Evil thing not to fear Lord's mind, not to have faith in the word of the Lord of God, not to grow up in grace on the knowledge of Bible doctrine, that's the greatest evil thing what you can ever have in your mind. Not the evil thing what you can think you are having now. Of your adultery, fornication, drunkenness, polygamy. That is not evil thing. That is what unbelievers practice. We Christians being called as brethren will be free from them, says the word. 1 John 5, 9 and 10. 1 Corinthians 5, 9 and 10, not 1 John. Anyone who has been named as brethren, let them call. They have to be free from all the lusts of the flesh. Then only you are a Christian. But the evil thing what you are practicing is ignorance to learn Bible doctrine. Not able to look in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit. Not able to grow up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine. And you, though we tell for you to come back and learn Bible doctrine, you are arrogant enough. Though we tell for you tongues is not the criteria, you are arrogant enough. That's the evil thing. Don't worry, it will have its fruit. The consummation of the truth will be death for you, don't worry, because it will conceive. And great will be the fall on the day. And the word says, Kawa, to bind together by twisting you, not to be able to look in the original language of the scriptures by teaching you lies. And what we found, Matsa, to come forth, to appear, to exist the way how it could be delivered out, a baby. What we could come forth, we have pursued intellectually and now we are enjoying your fall. And that's Lamentations 2.16. The world on this earth, not able to be constantly in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. And we know very well the world cannot be because doctrine has been given. Those who have been born before the foundation of the world, says the scripture according to the thinking of the Lord's mind, to give him the power to become the sons of God. Therefore, dear brethren, to be dependent in every respect upon the Father's will and being constantly guided by the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, is what Lord and Savior Jesus Christ constantly teaches for us to use rebound. It is difficult for us to understand how he who was God and man could become so utterly willless in the sense that the Father's will was the only will he knew and the Father's will was expressed in the Holy Scriptures which is studied from a child and was manifested by the Holy Spirit who dominated and controlled the man, Jesus Christ. Therefore, from the childhood, those who have their children train up the way that the child should go. The same thing what he writes. The faith of your grandmother Luyas and the things which were able to make you to be perfect from the childhood, you know the scriptures. So when he went to the inter, into the wilderness after his baptism, the scripture says in Matthew 4, 1, Then was led Christ Jesus, our Lord, our God of the Spirit, into the wilderness and to be tempted of the devil. And Mark uses a stronger word that he was driven of the Spirit into the wilderness. And the man Christ Jesus acted here before the Father as dependent man. How beautifully that comes out in this psalm, which says, Give ear unto my prayer, that goeth not out of vain lips. His inmost being was in full accord with the words of his mouth. And how Christ our Lord our God acted before the Father as a dependent man through the scriptures, quoting the scriptures, though Satan also quotes the scriptures, but rightly dividing the word of the Lord our God. 
though satan may quote to you the scriptures in the terms pertaining to your translations in the things pertaining to in every mannerism of apart from the word of the lord of our god but be aware our lord of our god intends for us to go back and look and dig and read the original languages of the scriptures the way how he says in matthew gospel have you not read several times more than six to seven times have you not read what it is have you not read what it is so shall not be a great blame for you at the judgment seat of christ to say why haven't you not read in the original languages of the scriptures why haven't you become the technic crowd because john 1 to 12 says to them he gave the power to become the sons of god they are the techna they are the techna they would come every day he teaches for us matthew 28 18 through 18 through 20 and he teaches for us in the same matthew 11 to tell every scribe i have instructed and every believer is the scribe that they should come to witness the truth and every believer to teach wisdom has been justified among the children the emphasis in the original language which says not just once wisdom but in the language it says wisdom of the wisdom has been justified among the children by our works the wisdom what we have how we could be the foolish virgins to spend our time to let go into the details of life and not able to wake up how a great life that we have been given in this church age and not able to buy the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, by redeeming your time. That's the oil for you. And they want to go back and buy and come. Then the doors were been shut. And the Lord of our God says, I know not who you are. Being not constantly in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit is those foolish virgins. So is your life. Constantly being with the anointing or the unction that has been given for us in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit is the wise virgin's life, and they will be prepared every time to make five out of five, to make ten out of ten disciples. And we no longer talk in the terms of becoming membership because of your clan, because of your genealogy, because of your caste or creed. We talk only now in the terms of discipleship. It was been there in the past, which should have been running in the churches, but being put to hall to be swallowed up by Satan. The way being put to hall, where we look and read every day, the failure of the prophet in Lamentations 2.14, the enemy being happy to swallow you up because do you have, though you have been made to be the joy and the perfection of his beauty on this earth though you have to consummate yourself by giving a living sacrifice to the Lord of our God on this earth yet you don't wake up to the Lord's mind this life is yours dear brethren we are not teaching for you here moral perfection. And since the word of the Lord of our God has been given for us, and the way how Christ our Lord of our God prayed for us, saying to the point, I pray that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but thou should keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Therefore sanctify them. Hagiazo to separate from the profane things and dedicate them to Lord of our God as a consecration, as a dedication to cleanse externally because they have been purified by the, expi by the expiation price being paid for us on the cross to purify internally by renewing of our soul so sanctifying them through what? the truth, Aletia, the word of the Lord of our God because thy word itself is the truth, the Logos, the mind of Christ. And therefore, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. And it further goes, or the truth truly sanctified. Neither pray I for this alone, but for them also, which shall believe on me through their word. That's what Colossians 4, 6 is all about. 
Every word that we speak is the word of God. 3056 Logos. Therefore, your, wo your word as a believer in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the ministry of reconciliation, for the ministry of ambassadorship, like the noon light that you should shine, says Jephnia 2.4. Receiving to become the light and becoming the light bearers and to become the salt of this earth. Through our word, unbelievers will come to believe in my Christ. But when your word is not been seasoned with salt, neither your light of the world, how you could. Therefore, he says in verse number 20 of John chapter 17, Neither pray I for this alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. And then he goes, That they all may be one as you, Father, art in me, and I in thee. That they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Why will the critics rise about crucifixion, incarnation, resurrection? Because they don't look upon our deeds as being faithful to the Lord. When we have been baptized by the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, even as well by the baptism of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If we are not walking day by day in the mentoring ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, we are not in unity with the Trinity. How will the word witness our mic? How will the world witness our truth? And what is the reason that we should be? That Lord of our God has sent His Son for us so that they could have and believe that we have been there in such great relationship with Lord God the Father by the holy manner walk of life. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. What is the glory? The completed canon of scripture, the glory of the indwelling mentoring ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit of the Shekinah One. I in them and thou in me, and that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and thou hast loved them as you have loved me. What a privilege it is for us. We, besides being perfect, calling to understand your process, moving on to perfection, that the world may know, Ginosko, what they are seeking in the Gnostic theology, Ginosko, so that they could know. This knowing is nothing but being in unity with the fellowship of Lord God the Father. We grow up to become perfect in the Lord's mind every day. And they should know that Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was been sent looking upon our character, upon our life. And he has loved them because he has given for us the demands of his agape love as he has demanded in Christ. Therefore he says, Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am. That's the privilege for us. If not, what are we worthy for? Does not he say no man is good in the flesh? Though Christ our Lord of our God was not been born in sin out of the old sin nature, he calls no one is good apart from apart from Father in heaven. The reason is he was been in the midst of these minds of men of the old sin nature. Even what we possess the old sin nature, he was been there in the midst of this men of the old sin nature. Therefore he requests to God the Father to pray. Father, where I am, let them also be there. Help us to be there. If not where we shall be. Therefore he built you in the regeneration process of Palagenesia. Palin plus Genesis. And he calls for us to look as Second Peter 3.13 goes for the new heaven where the righteousness of the Lord our God alone dwells forever. Therefore he prays for us in John 14, 17, 24. Where I am, those who have given to me, there let them also be with us. 
because you love me O Lord before the foundation of the world therefore he has chosen us to be on this church age to be at the present moment telling in Ephesians 1 4 before the foundation of the world he has chosen us to be holy and blameless therefore he further goes in verse number 25 O righteous father the world hath not known thee but I have known thee and this have known that thou hast sent me the world will never believe therefore there are people like the son of perdition it was better for them not to be born says Jeremiah many sons of perdition in our pulpits today they think they can compromise with the Lord our God by not teaching the truth but he goes to prove for us apart from his word he's not going to do anything therefore he says search my will seek my will do the will of God the Father in heaven alone and those who don't do according to the will of God the Father in heaven alone he calls them as workers of iniquity be aware about that crowd who say we have preached for you on the streets we have done miracles for you on the streets but he says I do not know who you are the world will not know why you want to become a world rather than becoming the word of God in your life the world is the way the people still yet not being crucified with Christ not yet being buried in Christ so that they could be risen in Christ and that's not just the baptism of your water cleansing it's the renovation of the standards of your thinking to say it's no longer who you live but Christ who lives in you saying that you shall die as a martyr to the Lord our God and that's the way how our Lord our God has intense for every believer in this church age don't think you have been cleansed in baptism and you have been cleansed and you have been risen with Christ no forget it your after baptism is not a salvation process your after baptism is not the way that you could be saved believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is saved when you take water baptism it is nothing but for you to tell you're ready to take the responsibilities in the Lord's kingdom like a martyr for the Lord to die the world will not receive says the scripture I have declared in verse number 25 righteous father the world hath not known thee but I have known thee and this referring to the church church believers of John 1 12 those who have been born according to the will of God the father to become the technon crowd this have known thee and this have known Ginosko that thou hast sent me and I have declared unto them thy name his name itself is a gift of revolution dear brethren the norizo to make known to be recognized to be taking them to have to gain knowledge to gain a knowledge or having a thorough knowledge by becoming the disciples that's the declaration the same thing what he calls the instruction in the gospel of matthew that is making them to be mantano that declaration unto them thy name and again I will make them to have that thorough knowledge because of the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them the love of agape the demandment the demands of the commandments of the word of the Lord of God that's the agape in love therefore he says wherewith you have loved me may be in them and I in them therefore again I will declare it the copulative conjunction Kai he has declared for us to be the resurrection the grace upon grace and the second grace through his doctrine by the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit and declaring that through the bona fide gift of the pastor teacher who could stand in our pulpits every day to teach for you nothing but the Lord's mind dear brethren think over these issues life is too short don't let go your life in the pleasures of this earth as Hosea 3 teaches for us but rather be in return constantly in the mentoring ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit day by day learn Bible doctrine breath by breath And come to know you are true regeneration, Pali Ganesia. 
Your Pali Ganesian nature demands the Lord's mind every day. Your Pali Ganesha teaches for you. In the world to come, we shall be dealing with the righteous things. Therefore, let's dwell in righteousness, every brother, by putting upon the new clothes. And Dikaya Sune Kai Hosiet is Tesalatia. And how many days more you want to believe lies rather than truth? This is your life. Walk worthy of the calling of the Lord of a God, behaving to be saints. And if ever you live, you have to be in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit. If ever you walk peripata, oh, it has to be in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit. If ever you march, it has to be in the mentoring ministry of indwelling Lord God the Holy Spirit. And how you want to end up your life that is left to you? Think about these issues. Which way you want to go, dear brother, and you decide as we shall come back and continue tomorrow in the same divine fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit. As he enlightens us to give every day his spiritual manna for us from his divine golden power. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing movements being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. Inaudibly telling to Lord God the Father that you believe upon my Christ, my Lord, my Rock, my Saviour. That is the moment itself you shall have this great eternal life. Whereas for the believer, the greatest matter is to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine, wherewith you shall learn to acquire to possess know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teacher, the greatest matter is to carry Satan Lagan. Herald the word in season or out of season, because the Dharma to my witnesses where with you have been called. The number one Dharma to my witnesses in Willing Trinity, followed by Bible in our hands, and number two Dharma to my witnesses, our hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brother, not worry, besides nature, the entire and the Likos will be witnesses. But what is our work? Our work is to rightly divide the word of the Lord of our God, no matter how about the chips may fall. So which way you want to go, dear brother, and you decide. Life is too short. Don't think. We have to still deal with the morality and legality. Morality and legality ends up being buried with Christ. When we are risen with Christ, the newness of life which you talk, the spiritual life. The spiritual life of Yusa beyond godliness. Demanding for us not to be any longer in the childhood, but to look upon the adulthood of Christ. That great adulthood which demands in our lives, dear brethren, day by day, breath by breath, the spiritual self-esteem, the spiritual autonomy, and the spiritual maturity. If every will of the Lord of our God, the Father was been delightfully desired and fulfilled in Christ then how much more it should be for us in Psalms 22 26 to teach the church will pay the vast woes of the Lord of our God by describing his great praiseworthiness of Tehillah in his deeds through his deeds in our lives and how it could be the fearing men of the Lord Morning till evening, the name of the Lord of God to be praised, from sunrise to sunset. Through his creation, being made God in his own image, being made man in his own image of the God. And becoming like Christ on this earth is our ultimate goal. Getting the character of Christ in us, being immortal, and not at all worried about the, your sickness, your illness. Because the word of the Lord of our God is our health. The word of the Lord of our God is in our marrow. And it is alive and powerful forever. And we are immortal till the work of my Christ of our Lord of our God has been done in our lives. So which way you want to go, dear brother, and you decide. Time is too short. Those who haven't known to learn the will of God the Father, even they will be beaten with many strips, says the scripture. And those who have known the will of God the Father and haven't performed according to that will, even they will be beaten with many stripes. And why do you want to end up your life? Just for the filth of this world. 
the filth among all the old sin natures trying to develop holier than the attitude and not learning the mind of Christ. Satan is awaiting your enemy to swallow you up. And we found, we saw. It is delivering you up to rejoice and it saw to perceive intellectually to enjoy your fall by twisting in your mind lies rather than truth. The bridge is the interlinear, the man is the translation, the Lord God is the original languages of the scriptures in Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic. You want to be man or divine? Think over that issues. We shall come back and continue tomorrow. Infinitely Divine Holy Father, what a great privilege it is for us to understand about Thy will. Father, for the great purpose of regeneration which you have done through Lord God, the Holy Spirit in Titus 3.5, Paligenesia, to restore all things according to Thy word, according to Thy truth, according to Thy will. You have placed us over here on this earth to understand that the world which is going to come to be absolutely in Thy holiness, therefore, in the eon of the ages which you rule forever, though we are in the old sin nature, O Lord, Everything has been made subject unto thee. You are the one to be reigning over us through your life. So that, Father, by walking in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, overcoming the wicked one, and trampling Satan under our feet, you want to reign even in this earth, though we are in this physical flesh. Help us, O Lord, to do thy will. Strengthen us, O Lord, to understand thy will by the spiritual resurrection, where every believer can walk and have the overall authority of which you have given for us on the dunamis power of satan and to trample it by our feet so father what a privilege and a plan you have for us and how many days more these people yet they don't want to bury their flesh and to be risen with christ in your spirit let them be O lord but those who have been taking a decision to come every day to become thy technon let them come every day to thy mind and learn bible doctrine nothing on this earth is far more important for us than to do thy will help us to do it faithfully O lord and to speak of the loving kindness in the morning till to the evening, thy faithfulness for which cause we will be kept in, will you kept us alive and prayed that the world may be known through us. What a privilege it is for us in Father. Through Christ, O Lord, our God, given us this great work. And see if there is an offense away in us, O Lord, lead us in the way of everlasting truth. In Christ's matchless, peerless, gracious name, we pray, sovereign Lord. May Lord God, the Holy Spirit, enlighten us in this great truth.